Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Of course I am. Yeah, so Rangers defeat the Carolina Hurricanes in seven games. Let's talk about this series. It was, for the most part, home ice advantage. Obviously, going in, the Carolina Hurricanes had never lost on home ice. That continued almost until the end. Um, and the Hurricanes, however, were snake bitten on the road. So let's start this series off in Raleigh. Hurricanes win 2-1 in overtime. You know, it's a bit of a rough one. Shot, the overtime goal goes off of Ryan Lindgren. And, uh, yeah, it's, Shesterkin's not happy about it, but the Hurricanes go up 1-0 in the series. Then they would double that lead in the series when they win 2-0. Again in game, in game two, huge win for the Hurricanes. Rangers, though, in games three and four, show up. 3-1, 4-1 victories over the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, game five is a tightly contested affair. Rangers think they have the lead. No, nonetheless, it is called back on and offside. They end up losing 3-1 to one to the Hurricanes. So, a must-win game yet again for the Rangers. Their fourth must-win game of the season already, of the postseason already, having won three straight um, to get the Penguins, to beat the Penguins in seven. They, they come out, they win five to two. A very good affair for them. They chase Ranta, although he's back in net in game seven. Um, and we go back to game seven in Raleigh, and the Rangers show up big, six to two over the Hurricanes. Now, let's talk about this. Um, because now that we've got all the scores out of the way, let's get some of the factors. In Game 7 is the most recent one. We kind of have to talk about this. Injuries. The Hurricanes lost Ranta in the second after it was already it was already 3-0 at that point, or 3-1. I'm not sure, quite sure if I remember correctly. It was correctly. 3-0 because they went up 4-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, Ranta injures himself trying to stretch out for a play. It's unfortunate. It happens. Uh, Jarvis is another one that happens. Uh... People are calling the hit dirty. It's a tough one to call because it's a six foot two guy hitting a five ten guy. Naturally, you're not you're going to have some contact with the head. It does concuss Jarvis though, and that's going to leave fans sour about it. And I understand that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not a play where Truba goes out of his way to injure said player. It's just a hit, and Jarvis has his head down. And for a very offensively aware player, he was not aware that Truba was coming in. And Truba's been physical the entire series. Um, but yeah, Rangers have a very good special teams in Game 7. They, honestly, it, it, it sounded like a home away from home game. There was a lot of Rangers fans in the buildings for all of the games, honestly, in Raleigh. Uh, they tried to stop Rangers fans from going. Didn't work at all. And how did they do that? They, um, they stopped tickets from being sold outside of the local region. The problem is there's a lot of Rangers fans that live in North Carolina, apparently. And yeah, they, they found a way around it. Obviously, with this series win, by the way, as you checked out my very brief short, but very excited short, you would know that the Jets now own a first-round pick that was the New York Rangers' first-round pick. Much hype. Uh, but yeah, no, this series, it was interesting because while the, while the Hurricanes won this series, or lost the series in seven, at no point were they really exemplifying great offensive hockey. They showed glimpses of it in games where they score... Like, they, the most goals they scored in a game was three. You can't win a series like that. And you most certainly can't play Tampa like that. Um, and if you want to know my thoughts on the series coming up, check the next tomorrow's tomorrow morning's video. But yeah. Um, like, the, the Hurricanes didn't show enough offensive diversity and enough offense in general to warrant them winning this series. You can't have... Let, let, let's count it, shall we? We got two goals, two goals, one goal, one goal, three goals, two goals, two goals. That's not enough. When you're averaging two and a half goals for, and you give up five and six goals in elimination, like, impossible clinching games, that just isn't enough. So... It'll be an interesting offseason for the Hurricanes, but they need to figure out how to find more scoring depth, and especially in key tight situations, because it wasn't there in this series. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, comment down below your thoughts on the series, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.